So this is Team Center. Um, we have our our home area, which is basically my my workspace that I'm that I'm working in. Each each person has their own. Uh, we can share folders so that uh, there's a common folder. We can we can see things that are in that common folder. Both of us, if I add something or they add something, it's basically these are just links. So we're bas we're looking at the same thing. Uh, or we can have unique folders as well uh, where nobody's nobody's looking at it. Uh, on the left here's uh, some quick actions that you can do, whether it's uh, you know looking at your work list, which is your where you go your inbox, uh, basically go and look at uh, things that have been assigned to you or things that you need to do, uh, projects, uh, links. There's my history here. If I want to quick quick do something like create an item or those kinds of things, and then a bunch of applications down here. Over on the, the right side, uh, you see this little teal outline with my home and this little teal outline with the, the summary along with the little dots at the top. It helps you understand the things that you're selected with um, and what it's displaying on the right side. So I can have multiple things open over here and uh, watch the color to be able to know um, uh, what thing I'm actually looking at. So it gives more more detailed to the, the things that I've selected here in my in my workspace. This is called an item, and it's basically the the top level uh, object in Team Center that uh, you that you um, you're able to revise and create revisions. So this is revision A. Um, we have a few things under that. We've got um, a Pro E data set right here, and I've got a a JT. Uh, direct model, which shows this uh, this nice little block that I've created. Um, I can select the uh, item revision or the, the Pro E data set, and I can say send to uh, Creo. That'll start up Creo. Uh, the first time that I connect, I have to log in. This is the integration. And you can see that it's uh, it's talking to Team Center now. Uh, it, it's initializing, setting up the attribute mapping, so the sharing attributes between uh, Creo and Team Center. I get this nice little open dialog. I can see, you know, is it checked out or not? Is there a release status? Um, so then I open this and I get the open from. This is where I can. Unfortunately, you don't have anybody from I uh, from that's familiar with Creo right now, but being able to fetch uh, and check out stuff. Um, if I wanted to add a comment to the checkout, oh, this is that that block that we looked at. Uh, I'll just make a a quick change to it. I'll make it like 200. There we go. So any issues opening? Because right now you showed opening. Creo from Team Center. Right. What about opening Creo first and then connecting to Team Center? Yeah, that's that's no issue at all. Um, and there's even a uh, uh, a uh, a thing in your pull down here. If I wanted to um, if I wanted to launch Creo integrated with Team Center without even having Team Center open, um, then that's how I would do it. Okay. I would just click on that okay. script. Uh, so I, I made this model change. I'm going to save it, uh, go to my Team Center menu, and I'm going to save it here. You see that it's it's doing things automatically for me, uh, communicating back. Um, one thing I didn't do, though, is I didn't check the JT thing. Hang on just a second. Let me make another change. I'll make it 150. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a CAD guy, so um, this time I'm going to look at the save as, and this gives me a little more options on what I want to do. You see that it unloads it automatically in the background. Um, I don't have a check check mark here to save it. It's because I don't have it checked out. I can just right click and check it out here. It automatically checked it in when I saved it before, um, and then I can click, you know, automatically create the the JT file if I want to retain checkouts I can do that 
um, or if I want to delete the files that are in my work folder, I can I can make that happen as well. Um, I'll just uh, retain it for right now. <clears throat> 